What's up, YouTube? I'm Mike. Today I'm coming to you from a little bit different location because I'm going to try to do some screen recording so I can show you some progress video, uh, progress pictures. Uh, the topic for the day is what you can expect from a 500 milligram a week testosterone cycle. Now, obviously, uh, it probably should be titled what my results were because obviously everybody's body's different. The things that you're going to experience, the way your body reacts to different hormones and compounds are going to be different than mine but I at least wanted to do something to show what my experience was. I think a lot of guys have this idea that they're just gonna blow up overnight on their first cycle, they're gonna become monstrous, and that for me is just not what happened. I spent a lot of time on forums like Mesorex, uh, looking for uh, cycle logs to get an idea of what I could expect, and every time somebody would say they were getting ready to do their first cycle, you'd have all these guys saying, man, I can't wait to see this, you're gonna blow up, you're gonna, you're gonna love it, everything's gonna be so great. And my results were sort of lackluster, if you ask me. Now, it may be fair to say that this is not really my first cycle because I had been on TRT at 200 milligrams. So then you go to you know a cycle of 500 milligrams and it's not a huge difference. It may be fair to, to more combine the results of those two together or maybe even take a midline between them to find out what you could expect. But again, all this is all the data that I have to work with and so I'm just sharing my experience with you for anyone who's interested. So, um, one more thing I want to make uh, certain that I, 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 you know, bring to light is uh, the way that I got my testosterone. So, I have always been nervous about, you know, if you're trying to do science, you need to have all the variables accounted for, and I didn't want to try to get, you know, I didn't have a good source, I didn't know anybody that I trusted, so I didn't want to buy bunk gear and then try to do this whole experiment and have it not really be what I thought it was or the quantity, you know, the, the uh, milligrams that I thought it was. So I started hoarding my TRT, and then I had a couple little called accidents that caused my TRT clinic to have to send me extra vials. And so in a short period of time, I had amassed enough uh, legal pharma-grade testipionate so that I could do a 500 milligram cycle for 12 to 14 weeks. So that's how I got the gear. That way I knew that the product was pure and that it was what it said it was, you know, 200 milligrams per milliliter is what I was working with. So. This first picture, let me shrink this real quick. This first picture is going to show you the starting point. Uh, as you can see, not a lot of muscle mass. Like I said, I've been lifting for over, you know, I've, I've been lifting since I was a kid, but um, back into it pretty heavily for over a year. TRT for, I forget the number of months. Obviously, I'm very soft, carrying a lot of body fat, probably a little bit of water. I have no gyno at this point. I had struggled with gyno when I was on TRT, and I know. Bunch of guys in the comment section are always trying to tell me, uh, you don't need fucking Arimidex if you're on a TRT protocol. Well, I do. Um, my nipples swelled up massively. I got large knots behind them. Um, had some other side effects. Uh, my TRT company tested me. My E2 was out of the range at 200 milligrams per week. They had to add half a milligram of Arimidex, brought that back into line. Everything was good. So at this point, my E2 is dialed in. Uh, I've been sort of probably dirty bulking. I don't remember exactly, but certainly there's no leanness here at all. So another picture here to show you the starting point with just like a little bit of flex. Obviously not a lot of definition to the pecs. Uh, I have, I struggle to build a big chest. I just gen am not genetically gifted in that way. Uh, my body builds shoulders much, much more, e much easier. So uh, not a lot of definition, not, you know, just, you know, 40 year old guy. Uh, here's a picture of my back. This one will will drive home a lot of things later on in this video. As you can see, little to no definition in my back, wrinkly, um, just kind of fluffy looking. Obviously, this is about as shitty a lighting as you could possibly get for a, a picture like this, but it's what I had to work with. So this is our starting point. At this point, I was weighing at night, which is the way that I used to track my weight. It's not a great way to do it. Uh, now I track in the morning after I've gone to the bathroom, cleaned up my bowels, try to get as close to a, uh, a body baseline as I can. Uh, and that's how I track. So at this point I was not doing that and I was around 168 pounds in the evening. So for the first um, four weeks, I don't experience a lot of changes in the gym. I don't see, my body weight doesn't really increase. My strength does not substantially increase. Uh, I do feel uh, the testosterone. Some people say they can't feel it at all. Um, I definitely feel it when it first starts coming on. I feel a little speedy after my shot, a little more intensity in the first one to two weeks. I notice that aggression starts to peak a little bit, uh, a little bit more road rage, a little bit more general irritability. 
nothing like roid rage that you would experience like on trend. It's just a little bit heightened edginess. It's something that my wife and I have talked about quite a bit. She notices it every single time I start a cycle and it's very present in those first few weeks. So um, by the four week mark, um, my body weight starts to change a little bit and my strength goes up in the gym. What you're looking at here, however, is the six week mark. So you can see that there's been, to some degree, some recomp. My abs have, have come in that were basically non-existent in the first picture. Uh, not a lot of chest development. Shoulders are a little more full. Biceps a little bit more full. I don't remember my weight here. I'm guessing it was probably around 173. So there's a slight amount of recomp, a little bit extra muscle mass, nothing spectacular. Um, and this is the, like I said, the six-week part um, point. So another picture, six weeks. It's basically the same shot. Uh, these pictures here are also at the six week mark with some much more favorable lighting. Um, obviously, my shoulders are looking pretty decent, some cuts in my shoulders, uh, biceps coming in. Uh, from this angle, I have uh, no visible abs. And um, then this back shot, uh, obviously starting to show what's going on. So my back, I'm pretty genetically gifted in my back, my shoulders, my chest is always a lagging body part. So you can see that there's a pretty reasonable difference in six weeks time in these two back shots. What you're looking at here is substantially more definition in the, in the entire back. Shoulders are getting bigger, still very tight. You know, there's not a lot of uh, almost kind of watery here. Uh, going back to that first back picture again, terrible lighting, you know, to try to get any kind of baseline, but, um, you can definitely tell that uh, the back development is starting to come together. You got the V going. Uh, again, nothing groundbreaking. So that, that picture there can sort of be a little bit misleading because now we flash forward to 12 weeks and we're effectively at the end of the cycle. Uh, I believe I stopped at 14, but uh, here was the day I went fishing with my kids, caught a decent little flathead, and you can see no special development in the abs section. Pecs are still very flat. Shoulders are okay. Um, some, you know, vascularity. But again, nothing tremendous in the way of gains. I believe that my week, my my weight peaked somewhere sub south of 180 on this cycle. Uh, somewhere in the 12 pound total body mass gain. Obviously, not all of it is muscle. You've got some water weight. You've got some body fat. And so that was one of the things that was frustrating to me with this cycle is that you hear all of these reports of guys gaining 30 pounds in their first cycle. And that certainly did not happen for me. Now, one of the things to consider is that um, I react different to compounds than some guys. So um, while I do struggle with gyno, I typically do not struggle with a lot of general water retention. Uh, I don't get the Michelin Man bloated look unless, you know, well, less things that I'll discuss in another video. So uh, this picture here is actually at about 16 weeks, so two weeks off cycle, although obviously the hormones are still in my system. I started trying to cut a little bit, and so this gives you the, the best representation that you're going to see of the total change between the beginning and the end. Obviously, my back is still pretty cut up. Not cut, obviously not cut, but it's, uh, it's you know, I've got some decent gains in my back and my shoulders from that start point. But again, nothing spectacular. So we've got from this to this, 500 milligrams of testosterone. I took one shot, 250 milligrams on Tuesday night. A 250 milligram shot on Saturday morning, ran that for 14 weeks with Pharma Grade Test Cipionate. So, um, again, this is just my experience. Everybody's body is going to be different. You could argue that um, this was not our true beginner cycle because I've already been on TRT, as I said earlier. And so, maybe it would be more accurate to try to lump together some of those two gains. If I remember correctly, I gained about 10 pounds on TRT going from, from nothing to TRT. So in that total 500 milligram range, you've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 pounds of body mass over this extended period of time. You could argue that this was really just a, an extra long cycle, right? So I started doing TRT. I ran 200 milligrams of TRT until I got to the point where I jumped up to 500 milligrams. And so you could argue that this was just really one really long cycle 
and that in itself could have affected uh, the gains. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm 40 years old, I'm not a young man, so my body's gonna react to hormones differently than somebody in their 20s who is a newbie, who's got virgin receptors, who's never taken any of the other things that I've taken in the past. And so, like I said, obviously I can't account for all variables, but I just wanted to give you an idea, or at least give you, um, you know, just shoot a quick video to show you um, what my experience was and um, what that netted me. So. If you had this concept that you're gonna do 500 milligrams and you're gonna blow up overnight, uh, I'm here to tell you that was certainly not my experience. I don't think it's the experience of most people. I think that if you really want to build an appreciable amount of muscle mass on your body, you're going to be in this for the long run. You're gonna to have to do cycle after cycle with increasing doses and variable compounds in order to get to some of the before and after pictures that I showed you uh, in a previous video. Um, again, like I said, this video is not to promote the use of any anabolics. I'm not your doctor, don't break the law, don't buy shit from the guy at the gym, unless he, well, just don't do it. Obviously, I'm not gonna advocate any of that. For people in the comment section who are looking for advice or people asking me, why are you making these videos? Uh, I'm gonna do a whole video on that, but just as an ender to this one, I make these videos for entertainment value, to vlog my own personal experience, and to just share my experiences with other people. I am not here to tell anyone how to live their life, what they should, should not do, what's safe, what's not safe. This is just what I've chosen to do, and people find it interesting, so I make these videos and I put them online. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully it was entertaining or enjoyable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you have ideas for future videos, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of content coming up soon. I stopped making videos because my computer crashed. You guys don't care about the details of that. But uh, so a lot of content coming out here really quickly. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you got something out of this and we'll see you on the next one.